What's up guys, Albinsters Palms here, back with another uh, video again. Today we are October, I believe, 29th. So, I, and I believe this will be the last day uh, that the palms will be out. So, we're supposed to get down to like 35 degrees tonight and then 30 degrees the next day. And uh, then it will warm up for a couple more nights, like uh, with lows around 40, which we've been seeing. Uh, and the palms have been doing just fine with it, but we're actually getting to the point where things are going to start freezing uh, real soon. And I uh, heard that we could get down to 30, maybe 29, possibly uh, next couple. I think on Halloween. So I figure I'm, I'm going to be away out of town, so I figure I better take these um, all in. I'll take on all the seedlings uh the california fan palms uh i could probably leave the california fan palms out but the fact is that there are some nice days still ahead i would like to keep them warm you know to where they're not going to just go dormant completely just yet because uh, there's still some nice days ahead but uh for the meantime yeah all these will be going in for the most part um we're not going to get that cold but like i said just because we're gonna get to freezing um i might leave i might leave one or two out just to see how they do but um see how they handle 30 degrees and they should handle just fine but again the fact is that they're they're potted it doesn't make them as cold hardy which means you know they can't really tolerate the cold as well i mean they could still go down pretty well but i mean considering that the pots are pretty uh small and the fact that they are exposed to the cold weather um, just makes their cold hardiness a lot worse. You know, if the roots were at least down in the ground where the frost level doesn't go so far down, um, they would be just fine probably. But the fact is I want to be better safe than sorry. So I'll take everything in. But gorgeous day, you wouldn't know we're going to freeze uh, real close to freezing tonight. You won't know that now, but... Uh, it's been an off and on gloomy and sunny day. Um, a lot real windy too today. But you can now see the Mediterranean looking really good. Fronds pushing out still. And you can just see they're growing really, really, really quickly. I mean, this one grew really good towards the end. Um, it's starting to lean, so I don't know. I'm going to have to try and fix that. But um, the sable, the sable did real good this year too. Uh, brand new fronds, good size fronds, opening up another one too. So yeah, everything's doing pretty good, um, even well into October. Um, might have a few more nice days ahead, so I'll maybe bring them out. Uh, usually I can get to the first week, end of the first week, uh, you know, mid week, uh, mid month of uh, November. Usually, I uh, usually have to start bringing this stuff in, but. I mean, overall, everything's done good. Mexican fan palm over here has done great. Um, it's still recovering, but it's doing a lot better now. So first uh, time it's starting to get teeth again. So it's looking good. I don't know if I'll keep it here or if I will give it back to my aunt just because I know how these palms are a lot less cold hardy. Not much more, but they're still a lot less cold hardy than the California fan palm. They don't really look the same. But the fact is, Mexican fan palms cannot, basically 18 degrees will kill them. So you really have to keep them in a warmer climate. So for that reason, just so I wouldn't lose it, so it doesn't die after three years, um, I'd probably give her a California fan palm. Um, they have one similar size, but you know, just for the simple fact, you don't want to expose Mexican fan palms to extremely cold weather. They could tolerate, you know, if they're well established for many years, they could they could handle 20 degrees, no problem. It's just when they get, when they're small like this, you know, they really can't handle 20 degree, like 18 degrees. Especially if they're potted, they'll pretty much die from what I've heard. Yeah, it, it will need some sort of protection. Um, but yeah, the California fan palm pushed out on the front. This one's a lot smaller for some reason. It's a lot smaller than the other ones, but it's slowly opening up. That'll probably open by the, the end of the week, fully open. But it's still growing, still looking good. Uh, 
met the blue Mexican fan pond doing good I uh, will have to bring that in as well but yeah nevertheless it's had a good year if you guys have been watching this pond uh, throughout the time that I've owned it it's grown pretty good um, I'm not gonna lie looking gorgeous um, we still have the seedlings here if you guys are still interested uh, I still have them for sale uh, they're doing okay um, they're still growing but I just need to bring them inside probably best that I do just because they're still babies Jackie Carpus Fortuna it's still struggling to open this front I mean it's opened up a little bit but it hasn't fully fully opened and this one looks like it's starting to but hard to say if it's gonna fully open uh, by the end of the month it's been like that for a couple weeks um, wildflowers are actually still surprisingly uh, blooming well they were blooming they still have some colors on them they're still green so pretty surprised about that trees are still green too uh, we're already end of October these trees should have changed you know by now at least the majority of them but it's still green cherry tree and uh, some of these ones are still kind of barely starting to change but I love these flowering pear trees you just have a lot of gorgeous colors when they slowly start to change real pretty but anyway yeah grass is doing really good it, grass is really cold hardy so you don't really have to worry about those uh, Mesa Arizona seedling looking good um, so Waro cactus from Arizona this one's starting to push a lot more pink so it tells me it's growing along with this one too so it's looking good those are having a great year and they've done pretty decent considering the time that I've got them these uh, seed grown California fan palms or at least uh, from what I believe are California fan palms uh, seem to be doing good but here's the difference one has a little bit more green and then one over here has a little bit more red um, so it's hard to say it could be a hybrid for sure um, just not really sure yet could be the soil too that does uh, the, the color changing but nevertheless he's pretty colors um, there's three of them here so looking good and then um, the pineapple is actually doing pretty well I'll have to bring that in it's gotten big and uh, we still have the Canary Island date palm this will be going in tonight as well so um, here it is Canary Island date palm doing great it's pushed out three new fronds so far working on its third here but nevertheless it's doing nicely you can see it starting to open um, so yeah doing good looking good nice canary island date palm um, California fan palm here in the ground looking good finally opening up another front there too so that's good um, so yeah this has a decent amount on it so chunks of good size now but yeah anyway uh, like I said I'm not going to be protecting any of the palms in the ground at all you know so everything's going to be uh, exposed I'm not going to protect any of it um, and they will do just fine except for all the potted stuff so I'll show you what it looks like uh, in my garage when it's all said and done okay so uh, here it is uh, all the palms uh, put away inside the garage they are looking good put some here and uh, brought pretty much everything in my pumpkins and then right over here we have uh, all the seedlings some there too gotta find a place for those and then we have the blue Mexican uh, fan palm right here and uh, all the other seedlings and uh, cacti and stuff. We got the California fan palms, Mexican fan palm right next to it. And then we have the saguaros and the seed grown California fan palms over there. So, um, yeah, this is where they'll be for the winter. I'll pull them out uh, every few months. 
uh, throughout the winter. I'll just pull them out, water them, and uh, take care of them. But this is my method of what I did last year, and they did wonders. So let me know um, what else you think I should do. I think I've pretty much covered everything for the most part. Everything is taken care of. I don't have to really worry about anything else so we'll see how they do i think they'll do just fine um but anyway feel free to like comment subscribe and share hope you guys enjoy these videos and uh as always uh we'll see you in the next one bye